Okay, this is actually going to be a pretty unusual way to get a crafting level, but mining one shard will give me, I have four experience remaining. There we go, 76 crafting, that's one level down without even wasting money on it, but there we go, 76 crafting, four more till base 80 for crafting, then some other skills, but I still need to get my 81 rune crafting. And... 81 rune crafting, one more and I'm gonna start my 80 base stats grind. My last trip to the Blood Altar, for now at least, is... I think do I get it now? Nope, need to fucking chop these up. Uh, well, 82 rune crafting has been achieved. I know I'm not using automated hotkeys like somebody told me in a previous video. <laughs> 82 rune crafting, double astrals. I'm not going to do them even though they're amazing money. Um, I'm then just gonna keep on doing blood runes, but for now I'm gonna try and go for 80 base stats. And I'm gonna start off with probably. Oh yeah, by the way, four. That's that's got that's like uh, how many did I start? I think I started with. Wait, why do I always put notes? The runes cannot be noted. Uh, four thousand ninety-six. I think that was the amount of, that I started with. Uh, that is a good 11 mil. So I think I'm gonna start off with smithing, because that's profitable. Then go to prayer, uh, and I need to do a farm run, but it's not going to be a level. So I think I'll see you guys with uh, maybe AD smithing or something like that. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with smithing. And I just got 78 smithing, I'm doing it with steel bars just because steel bars are, are actually like around 100 coins profit each time I make them and I only need to do 9000 so I think it's just like the entirety of today and then I'm actually done with um, smithing because yeah I'm 80 then but um, Steel bars are now making me profit. Look, I need to do 4,000 more and then uh, I need to do around 9,388 for the level. So I overbought like 300, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'm here at the Grand Exchange because I wanted to show you guys something. Um, <clears throat> since a new placeholder bank update, I really wanted to get my bank in a very good position. Um, to do it so I'm actually cleaning out my bank a bit and so far I've done everything that's th that's that has to do with killing so if we go up here so all my taps are gone this is the magic tap like all my runes are here I had to fill up so I made like a mi so I bought a mist room and a lava rune maybe I'll someday craft them mist rooms are definitely okay uh, my rune crafting is up here my pouches so my placeholders can just take him and get place him back in uh, my my pure essence, food for Slayer or something, cash tag, my blue red sword, things you can collect from uh, mini games and, and you know active tokens, mini game, um, warrior guilds, teleportation tab. Uh, Questcape has since uh, I think a couple of days a teleport on it, so it counts as a teleport. Could actually move it to here because then there are two caves together. Um, a lot of teleports that I bought. <coughs> had to fill up an entire row, so I use Carol probably. I don't know what this one is. <laughs> uh, farming tab or farming um, place. So farm, 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 farm. Fishing, fishing, farm, farm, farm. Wood cutting, fire making, light source. Farming, farming. Whenever I go to the seats for farming, I will use them. They're also, um, also positioned on level. Um, herbs for herb lore, tree seed, um, also a line for level, so Guam last, Torstal uh, last, did I say Guam last? Whatever. Um, so some basic ingredients, uh, vial of water, vial, and of course pestle and mortar. Agility, this is all agility, um, thieving, hunter, mining, the pickaxes, I will use a bronze pick for uh, rune crafting, but I was I was rearranging these and I was like, "Fuck, I should have put my pickaxe somewhere around here." 
Too bad. <coughs> so pickaxes, my ores. I bought a runite ore because eventually you get runite ore from um, Motherlode mine. Nuggets, uh, the barbarian rod with some feathers, uh, my big sharks that I fished, oily fishing rod. I don't know if it's an achievement diary, so I'll keep it for now. Uh, cooking gauntlets. This is construction. Uh, crafting all the gems. I bought an onyx, made a placeholder of it. You know, um, crafting and um, fletching, like with the bowstrings, kind of matches. Uh, the thing and salt heads for prayer which I'll eventually do and my um, achievement diary things for the rest nothing has been arranged yet I am currently working on these steel dart tips and shit um, I should arrange these these are all clue items uh, quest items I did arrange my potion tab it's not too big anything at, at, at the moment because Right now it's like this, I don't have potions at all, I just took the basic ones, what the hell. Um, so, super strength, super attack, super defense, strength, super restore, zero bruise, and prayer. And these are all random potions that I found in my... I found in my bank, uh, barrow stab with some... Uh, the Martina legs. Um, rares, or... Uh, fashion scape and then just useful things that I will probably take out of here and put in there. Um, need to get a slayer tab also, or like a slayer row, I'd say it like that. But so far this is what my bank looks like, but I can't be ours right now, because I really want to go train my skills again. So this is what it looks like for now. It looks already pretty, pretty decent, especially like this look of it. And here it gets a little chaotic, but I'll, I'll get used to it eventually. So I'm here um, with my friend LPR, who is uh, a friend of mine who messaged me, me in RuneScape because he watches my vid. He's about to get 99 attack. I don't know why I want to record this, I just felt like recording it. So he's gonna get 99. Wait. There we go. He has not got 99 attack, which is awesome. Let's get the cape. Oh, there we go. It's a f it's actually a quite good looking cape. <laughs> of course, the very first 80 in this episode of my 80 base stats, 80 smithing. That means that I can now make adamant battle axe and godsword blades. Not that I'm ever like gonna need to craft a godsword blade, but and that's 80 smithing, I'll go over to agility, do a bit of agility, and I calculated that I have to get 9,000 and 200 something bones for a prayer, which will cost me around 16 million. Farming is coming along easy for 80, uh, construction probably also gonna go to 80, gotta do crafting and hunter, and I will, and I will try and kill Zora, because I really need that private area for this one. And I think then everything is done, and then, I'll can st and then I can start to grind for 99 rune crafting. Um, okay, this is actually a little bit of a dilemma. So, I was running um, Dragon Bones um, for my prayer level, this is enough to get level 80. The problem is that I got 72 prayer and I got a combat level, I got 105. And I don't really think that is good. Why? Um, when I was rune crafting my nature runes to 77, I felt like when I was 104 combat, there were always people, you have to calculate like 5 levels above you and 5 levels uh, beneath you. There were always people 
PKing, then we're level or um, 98. So that's like six levels below me. Can't do anything. And level uh, 109s. So the 109s couldn't do anything because. Oh, yeah. 1010 or more. The thing was that for some reason, having 104 combat really helped me a lot by not getting PK'd once. I wasn't PK'd once. My entire 71 to 77 runecrafting grinds. And even after that, because you still have to make abyss trips after or when you're doing blood runes. So, to be honest, for my combat level to stay the same, I'm actually just gonna wait for my prayer level. Just when when I'm have when I have like 99 rune crafting, then I can start doing my prayer, um, instantly to level 99, because you know I just want to make myself um, safe for PKers, and I hope that getting 105 combat didn't help or did nothing towards the smoothness of uh, nature runs, but I feel like it didn't really help out so I'm gonna wait with prayer and uh, just think of this as an 80 step yes got 80 prayer thank you guys um, I'm also chopping myself uh, all the logs all the magic logs for oh shit all the magic logs for 80 fire making so I'm gonna keep doing that this last inventory I should have enough uh, magic logs to get myself to AD fire making, yeah, I need uh, 2,543 and I'm at 2,550, awesome, let's, let's go do this. Of course, 78, no, one more, oh fuck, I've, I lost the tick, there we go, 78, well, two more and I'm 80, fire making, it goes r fast, r it goes by really fast when I'm um, using magic logs, but expensive. But it's not expensive because I chopped it myself. <laughs> and of course, with this last log, 79. It means once one more. And I'm done with smithing. I really need to do something AFK because for some reason it's cold as fuck here in my room. And my fingers are freezing off. Like my clicks aren't correct. And it's really annoying. Of course, a little bit later. I hope this... Oh no. No, pick it up, pick it up. Okay. Um, 80 fire making. I really want to do something AFK right now because my hand is actually kind of hurting from the from cold. So, before runecrafting, I actually went AFK like fishing or splashing or woodcutting, but now I do actually have runecrafting to be AFK. I first want to warm up my hand, but I'm actually going to do a bit of AFK um, runecrafting. It's going to be awesome. Because runecrafting can now be done in AFK, and that's really useful. So, maybe I'll see you guys with a level, maybe not. I have no idea how long I will be doing it, but now runecrafting and after runecrafting, do some more agility, and after agility, maybe construction or hunter, or I'll see. 75 agility coming in, just doing these. Pretty chill, laid back, also got 18, uh, I mean 1850 um, total level, which is pretty neat with 58 million experience on the account. Uh, yeah, I'm doing these pretty laid back, just watching some streams or videos, just clicking on things, but agility is going to probably be probably be the longest uh, skill that I need to train to get to 80 but I'll get there eventually <clears throat> the last level coming in today because it's like almost 1 a.m. I'm really tired oh wow <sighs> of course gotta fuck up the clip with 6 8 6 XP left so last clip of today there we go 76 agility you need four more levels i'm gonna try and bust them out tomorrow but i really need sleep now so i'm going to bed uh i'll see you guys with 77. all right gonna get 78 that's no 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 77 yeah fuck. um well i'm kind of tired of agility but i am now gonna do 
another skill. I think I'm gonna do a farm run and then some construction or something. But what I want to tell you guys is, for some reason I'm feeling really nostalgic. And you know, if, if you've been playing RuneScape for about like, I don't know how long, oh shit. <sighs> so if you're playing RuneScape about as long as I do, around, I started at 2005, 2006. I'm going over a field strip right now, like pure nostalgia, like seriously, um, you know every time somebody made a RuneScape video and you were like uh, watching it and it was with one of those songs that everybody back then hated, such as, I don't know, uh, Paralyzer or Let the Body Hit the Floor or one of that trance song, seriously. When I heard one of those songs I, I felt like I muted the video instantly, but to be honest, I'm listening to those kind of songs right now and I feel like it's 2006 again and I feel like I'm actually gonna do, if I need to explain something to you guys, I'm actually just gonna open open fucking notepad and do the same thing because I want to feel 2006 again and it's gonna be fucking amazing because it's so nostalgic and what am I looking for? I'm, I'm feeling so nostalgic and everything is so amazing right now or it used to be amazing. Um, everybody has that song and, and for some reason nobody hates those songs anymore everybody loves it because they just because they just uh, associate it with RuneScape what it used to be and I really really enjoy that because it just is amazing I don't know why I told you guys this this just seems like what I want to tell you guys <laughs> literally one minute later, I just need to record again because this is going to be base 80 farming. And 80 farming is a level, you know, 80 farming. Now the XP is actually starting to pile up and it's going to be annoying for farming because now I need to do herb runs, tree runs, uh, maybe some other runs because some achievement diaries involve mushrooms or fucking hops or something like that. But yeah, 80 farming, trying to get as high as possible because I do farm runs every single day. Agility construction will come in with, I didn't train it to 70 when I did 70 base stats, so 65 coming in. Um, just like 15 more levels. I don't have enough blanks for 80, but I do have enough money to buy it, so I'll see you guys when 70. Last table for 70, there we go. I am yet going to- oh there we go, well done, you've at least achieved level 70 in all skills, fucking amazing. Um, I am going to do a little bit of AFK right now, because again it's really cold here and I should- I'm gonna buy myself every single mahogany plank that I need for 80, and I might just do some AFK crafting or something like that, I don't know. 78 crafting, got myself 80 banked. Yeah, uh, rip my cash tag. Okay, um, 79 crafting, that's one more level. And I am 80 crafting. Um, after that I still have three more skills to go. Like I said, I won't train prayer because that will um, higher my combat, maybe at least with one level and it can be detrimental or at least annoying. Detrimental is a little bit over exaggerated. Um, because I want to go out for 99 rune crafting after this. So, Hunter is going to be annoying because of all the bots hunting Red and Jumper. So, I might try and put out a Zora kill. Finally. And construction is going to slurp a lot of uh, GP. So, I'll, I hope I'll, I'll have enough coins to actually buy myself AD construction. 80 crafting. There we go. What can I do now? Dragonstone amulets. I can finally craft glories. <laughs> if I were an Iron Man, this would be awesome. Um, let me sell off all the green dehyde bodies and do construction. Yes, of course, uh, 75 construction. There we go. Five more levels and I'm done with construction, probably till 99. Um, also, this is my entire cash tag. Literally, literally my bank. Um, that's what I got 
for AD construction. This should be just enough. And see you guys when I'm 80. Calculated perfect. This should give me my AD construction and I will of course leave this skill now till 99 because now it's just the waste of money because I wanted 80 base stats. There we go, 80 construction. I can now build 27 rooms. This shit. And that's it. Let's see if I have a Camelot teleporter, Kirill, or Doin. Let's just uh, went to our let's just go to our Doin because I'm now gonna do agility. Here I am getting 78 agility. Just two more levels and I am done with the skill. Then going over to Hunter. And 79 agility, which took me a couple of hours, but I was pretty AFKing it. One more, and I'm done with this skill. So Jagex literally, five seconds ago, released a new update coming to old school, um, where you can super compost or compost your already planted crops. So I really want to test that out just because I want to do a farm run. Um, so I should be able to plant my, my sapling and immediately composted already this is gonna be bad if it doesn't and yep that works they also implanted a call follower button you can like call your follower and yeah oh fuck sorry for that um that's a pretty awesome update because it happens way too often where i already plant my sapling and i'm like fuck so it's a nice update i i like this one Finally, after countless of hours of climbing buildings here in Sears Village, 80 agility. I can now use the relic course, which I will be doing for 90. Uh, for 90 agility, but not now. I have one more skill to go. That's Hunter. And I am done with this video. And then 99 room crafting grind. To mention that um, from all that agility to just like minus 30 because I bought that graceful set um, so I got around 273 uh, marks of grace so that's yeah I think every 100 marks of grace is at least like a million so that's 3 million already <sighs> 71 hunter we're literally one level far, like further where I started. I've hunted 287 chins. And I'm already demotivated. I don't know why, but the hunter is a very fast skill, you know. But there's just something. I can grind out like runecraft thing like fucking 10 hours a day. But hunter, hunter is the only skill that's getting me down so much. And like, yeah, I could grind out and try out, try to kill Zora at least once so I can have the private area for Hunter, but it's still Hunter and I don't know why Hunter is so a hard skill for me to train, for my mental health to train. I really get demotivated training Hunter, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna do something else. And I'm gonna try and every time I log into one Hunter level, so that way if I like... if. I'm gonna take a break every time I'm, I get 100 level, because right now I have to get 318 chins, like that's a bit more than I hunted now, not too much, but it's still, 100 for me is insanely hard for to keep up, it's the only skill that I can, that I can't grind out, I need to take a break right now, do something else, go back on, do hunter again, when I level up, do, take a break again, and go on with that because I'm, I'm seriously the, the, hunter, the hunter skill cape is so so great it's so awesome it looks so good but I just cannot I can't grind out the skill this is the only mind wrecking skill for me so yeah just gonna take one break now all right um guys I think I'm actually gonna stop right here. Like I said in a previous clip that Hunter really takes away my mood and shit. Um, 
I'm currently almost level 73, so you know you you know I'm just doing this for at least like two hours or something. But I'm already gonna stop because you know you gotta play RuneScape and do stuff you really like. Like you guys can can like 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 fuck me over about it. Like you just gotta do stuff you really want to do. Like I I enjoy skilling, but hunter is not a skill I'm enjoying. Cause I don't know why hunter is so so annoying for me. But the thing is that hunter is something that I really do not enjoy about the skill. Just the skill itself is really not enjoyable for me. And I wanna do stuff that I wanna do or like to do. And I don't think you guys can can say anything wrong about it. Like I also want other streamers or YouTubers to, to have fun with what they do and I would just like that people enjoy what they're doing and right now I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do next video or videos I might be making a update video in between that. But let's see, next progress video I might try and go for 99 rune crafting because I enjoy doing rune crafting and after rune crafting or maybe in between because I'm gonna do blood still 91 and after 91 I'm gonna stop probably uh, for a small time of course but I'm, I'm probably gonna try and go for Zora kill so I can finish the western heart provinces so I can unlock the private area over there then hunter might be a little bit more enjoyable but right now I really don't like hunter and I'm gonna try and when I actually do a grind till like 99 hunter I am um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get myself a rupia set that the catching rate is improved and stuff because the skill has to be 99 as soon as possible and Right now, I'm really not enjoying this, so I really need to do something else, otherwise I'm just gonna stop. And I don't know if you guys want that, but I don't want to stop. Like, I'm really enjoying my account and it's coming along really good, really well, but I just don't want to force myself into doing stuff that I really don't want to do. So, I hope you guys understand, and I'm actually gonna get my straps together right now. Um. Also, I might just try and go for a high total level to go into the 2000 plus worlds. Maybe then like Hunter or other grinding stuff that's very overpopulated. Might be easier, so what I'm gonna do is do the, the easy skills to like 98. Like cooking, um, thieving, fletching. If I do these three to 98, my, my total level might be over 2000 and so... I'm just gonna wait for them to be 99 just so I can get into the worlds and I don't ruin my untrimmed first uh, 99 cape so I hope you guys understand I'm really sorry but I really just want to go in here and I feel like in here hunter is gonna be a more enjoyable skill for me so thank you guys for watching the next progress video I might do an update in between that but the next uh, progress video, like actual progress video, might take a while for me. Fuck these bots, man. Um, but the uh, the next progress video might take a while. Like actual progress video, might do an update in between of me getting 91 and maybe getting a Zora kill or something like that. But I'll see what I'm what I'm gonna do. I just hope that you guys enjoyed this so far. Sorry for the... where is that ring? Oh, there, no, it's over here. Um, sorry for this stupid ending. Got, gonna call it 80 base stats, because I'm gonna skip prayer and skip um, hunter. Because I really don't like hunter at the moment.